Hello and welcome to the demonstration of how Sekyon's ASM can help you detect and eliminate ransomware. Although I'm using WannaCry as an example here, Sekyon's ASM can help detect and eliminate known as well as unknown ransomware attacks. So let's watch now how the Sekyon's ASM solution is going to help us detect a ransomware attack in real time. Here I am logged into a Windows VM with the IP 192.168.9.107 and a host name Sekion CSE as you can see. This Windows VM is sending the logs to the Sekion platform. Here as you can see under the system tab the Sekion CSE machine coming up. Here I see a WannaCry extension file which is a WannaCry ransomware file. It will cause a ransomware attack on the Windows machine when executed. This test is being done in a VM and now I am going to run this WannaCry extension file as an administrator on this VM to initiate the attack. The WannaCry has infected this machine and turned the screen into a black screen as you see. And now I see that my files have been encrypted. It is asking me to make a payment by 18th of November 2019, otherwise my files will be lost by 22nd of November 2019. My system is already infected with this ransomware attack now. So let's get back to the Sekion's UI now. Here it is. I am logged in into the Sekion platform's UI for the machine which has been receiving logs from the Sekion CAC VM and I can see that the Sekion CAC VM has been sending logs to the CCE at 192.168.9.47 and hence I should expect an alert here. Let's get back to the alerts and see if the activity we did has triggered there or not. Here it is a major potential ransomware. With the time and the progress of the ransomware activities on that VM, this will turn into a critical ransomware attack as well. Double clicking on this major, I can see that it has object access status event 11 instances of it. And see, now that it has turned into a potential ransomware for critical severity, double clicking on it. I can see there are two other threat indicators in addition to the object status event. This threat indicator coming from Secure CSE, I can double click and see further details as you can see. This all is coming from Secure CSE host. I can also see the recommendations what the system is telling and here it is. It says I should remove this machine from the network. With this I'll move to remediation. In the alert actions tab, I need to go to the action drop down and choose remediate. I will see that a list of devices will appear in this and here as I can see it's a sonic hole firewall that I have created as a remediator in my UI. It can be the other firewalls, the NAC on which you would like to block your IP. You need to provision that. So as I click on update. I see the list of policies that will be pushed on my firewall as a result of my remediation action and per this policy it will create a service address object, service address group and some access rules on my firewall to block any communication to the given IP which has been used in this attack. As I say update, it will take a few seconds and I can see a remediate action has been taken. 